tonight we have new information on the taxi cab shooting that happened in Chico. Action News Now reporter Ryan Ketchum has the latest on the victim's conditions. David Cueto, known as Taxi Dave in Chico, received 15 staples in the back of his head and surgery on his broken bones. After defending against his attackers in his taxi right here on Lone Pine Avenue early Sunday morning. According to his longtime friend Natalie on a new GoFundMe page, she says there were shots fired at Dave but none made contact and it turned into a robbery. Cueto broke his hand as the gunman Victor Hernandez and Jose Huerta beat him with the gun. I spoke with several people living in the community who were awake during the shooting who shared their experiences. Just woke up to yelling and tires stopping about 40 feet outside of our window over the fence. Um, just someone yelling for help, um, seemed like very frantic and um, just came out front to see what they wanted. But once it was pretty clear that they didn't want cops involved, I went back inside and um, just kind of stayed in there. They were just running up and down, ran through the yard and just obviously trying to get away from the situation. I also spoke to another person who lives close to the scene of the crime that says she didn't feel safe knowing something like that can happen in her neighborhood. There was deep voices and they sounded like they were having a dispute. It was angry and um, I heard it very clearly, um, probably because of the proximity, um, but it was definitely alarming and then the shots. So that did startle me and also our dogs, they were barking. They were all barking. We have um, four dogs. There is a GoFundMe page created to help his family with medical bills, lost wages and car expenses. Reporting in Chico, I'm Ryan Ketchum. Action News Now, coverage you can count on. The Butte County Sheriff's Office says they arrested Huerta and Hernandez was pronounced dead on Lone Pine Road.